Hello, this is Lolly. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about what I picked up at the Dollar Tree yesterday. I was there looking for something else and decided I had better look at the school supplies that were new. They had a whole aisle of them because school is getting back in session. Well, I was fascinated with these pencil pouches. I know they're a bit long, um, but I like the fact that they have these big grommets on them. And here's what I was thinking. I don't know about you, but I have a lot of like enamel dots and stickers and little pearls and rhinestones that are in those long, skinny, um, you know, packaging. So, and this is my collection here of doodle bugs, and I've got some doodle pops in here too, stickers, but um, just the realization that I have these and I want to organize them a little better. So, I was thinking of using these. There. I wanted to get these organized. And so, I thought what I could do is take these, maybe cut this little tag out of the inside because I think that's going to be annoying. And then, with the, these are stickers too, I know, but mostly I was thinking about these enamel stickers. But if I put all my doodle bugs in one place, I can organize by brand, and that would be really convenient. Or I could organize by style. These are enamel ones. These are ones that I bought um, stickers from the Stamp and Scrapbook Expo, so I know to look where to look for those. And these are just a variety of them. Most of them have been sent to me as gifts. So once I have these, Oops, I have another one here too, and these are my clear gemstone ones. See if you can see that. So this is a two inch book ring. Now you could use um, any size you want, but once you get these filled, it will make, it makes them kind of poofy. So you might want to get the big size book ring. I think I got these on Amazon. I will look for a link for you. Now you could put a book ring on each one of these and literally make it like a book. Or you can do it with just one and hang it on your Rascog cart, hang it on a nail on your wall, uh, hang it on your magnetic shelves. And so uh, I just think this will be easy to store and carry with me uh, when I'm taking trips. And I have these ones as well. So how fun is this going to be? They had other colors too. I know they had blue and maybe green. If they'd had teal, I would have gotten it. So there is your little handy tip for the day. And yeah, so I hope that's something that you might want to take advantage of. So I thought I would show you what it's going to look like. I put the other two back here as well, the empty ones, and I thought I'd show you what this is going to look like if you put rings in every one of these. And this would be a nice um, tabletop way of organizing and one more I think this might get hung from my Rascog cart and I could still hang it there even though I have three rings in there so now you can see oh I like it with the three rings in there I think that's perfect and again I've got plenty room to fill I've got and I've got these two here that are empty oh I have another one these three that are empty so that will give me plenty of room for organizing and these two inch rings are going to be just the perfect size for this. Now, while I was there, I also picked up these pencil pouches and same thing, they've got the holes here. You can do what you want with them as far as putting rings in them. You can see by the comparison here, they are wider, but not as long and they're not transparent, but they are glittery, which they have that going for them. So what I thought with these would be to put vinyl on them, like to personalize them and say, you know, this is doodle bug stickers or whatever I want to put in there. So the other thing is, well, just stay tuned and I will give you a kind of a running list of some ideas of how, what you can organize in these pouches.